Good morning, thank you for joining us. My name is Tom with Simon Medical. This morning I wanna give you an overview of the XPS 3000 and the M2 Microdebreeder. These two products were specifically for the ENT market. So what I will do before I get into showing you actually the M2 and the foot pedal, I wanna show you this unit, how to set it up, um, and then when you get into the operating room, you'll know how to attach the micro debreeder and the foot pedal. So I'm gonna briefly turn the unit just to show you the back. When the XPS is mounted on an IV pole, you'll see on the back, we've got the power button on, we've got the cord, the power cord in. Um, so you'll need to have that obviously with you when you're taking this from storage to the OR. This button up here, which is infrequently used, is actually an emergency backup for the foot pedal. If you're in a case and a foot pedal stops working or you don't have a foot pedal, you can manually control the micro debreeder or the skeeter drill or the ENT hand pieces <clears throat> that you'll be utilizing with this. So we'll turn this back and then we'll take the M2 micro debreeder Okay, the micro debreeder will be sterilized, so this will be in the sterile field. The circulator or the scrub tech will be handing off the power cord. Um, and you will actually come in, there's only one place to attach this. If you look very closely, there's a red, there's a red dot here, which lines up on the top of the input. So that way you don't have to mess around with which, at which angle does this go into the box. Now, when we go, when we're plugged in, it will go to the default settings. So the default settings with, an, with the M2 micro debreeder are 5,000 oscillate. If you want to turn that down, we can simply do that manually with the up and down arrow. So if your surgeon wants to use 3,000, because in, in some will, if it used the older boxes, the max speed was 3,000. So some may be more comfortable at 3,000. So you can simply adjust that manually with your fingers, take it back up to 5,000, um, and it's in oscillate. Now, with the micro debreeder, one of the very important uh, aspects of not having a clog is having good suction. So your suction is gonna go in here, make sure your suction's on uh, as, as full power as, as you can tolerate. Um, irrigation, the, there's, there's an irrigation port on the blade. I'm gonna take the blade out and show you how it goes in. So the blade simply, there's a cap here, you simply pull it down. It's kind of like a drill. If you've got, a, if you've got an old Ryobi drill at home, it kind of goes in just like that. We'll have the irrigation tubing. We'll actually run through pump number one Okay, and I'm gonna turn this and show you the pump. Okay, you open this up. Irrigation tubing will slide in this opening and into our saline bag up here. One caveat I would say, when you put the irrigation tubing through here, there, you need to make sure it's centered. If it's off center, there are some tight lips here and it can get stuck in those tight lips and then you won't have irrigation. So just be cognizant of that, um, and you'll have, uh, you'll have great suction, you'll have great uh, low clogging, um, and it should work perfectly. The primary use for this is for sinus, where the blade will be running on oscillate. That means that blade is going back and forth. There are certain scenarios, like a laryngeal blade, or certain sinus cases that are very delicate, where you may want that blade to rotate, um, you know, just clockwise, just in a, in a rotation versus oscillation. If we want to do that, we press we press the middle button, and now we're on we're on forward setting. So if I press this, now that blade is rotating 360 degrees in one direction. Okay, not done all the time, but just so you know it's there. So we've covered how to uh, make manual changes directly on the XPS. 
with regard to speed and rotation. The other way to do that, once we've incorporated the multifunction foot pedal, which I'm gonna now plug in, the surgeon will be able to make those adjustments from uh, foot control under the OR table. So there's two ways to do what I've just shown you. Again, red dot up, especially if you're in a dark OR, it makes it much easier to try to plug this in. Okay, now we've got the foot pedal controlled and we can actually do what we've, what we've done. If we want to change that from forward to oscillate, we simply press the left key, the left foot pedal, and we've changed from burr forward to oscillate for sinus blades, okay? Um, the other side of this, uh, which is use, useful, some, some surgeons like it, some surgeons don't care about it, this is, this, is a zero, this is a zero to 100 foot pedal or an incremental foot pedal. So if we press this and we press it slow, right now it's on incremental. Okay, so if we press the button, now, now we're going zero to 100. So we don't have the option to go at a slower speed. So either it's fully on or fully off. Just so you know what those are. The surgeon will quickly figure it out if uh, they want to slow it down and it's on that setting, a simple foot tap to that button will change it back. Or you can go onto the console itself and change it back. As I mentioned, irrigation here for a micro debrider, this is actually not pertinent. This is for the Viseo drill, for the coolant, which we'll address in future videos. Um, so you don't need to worry about that at this point. Uh, there's also an in, uh, input here for the Skeeter drill, and we'll address that in another video as well. Thank you for watching the overview of the XPS 3000 with the M2 micro debrider. We have some additional videos coming out with some other products that work with the XPS 3000. In the interim, please feel free to contact Simon Medical at the number on the screen. And I thank you for joining us today and look forward to uh, presenting more information.